So today, yeah. just today, today, I bought XCOM 2 with, yes, some, with some birthday money, mm. which is awesome in this day and age. I just get an email and it's from PayPal. It's like, you have money. And I was like, aw, thanks, Mom. <laughs> you live three states away. And she sent me money for my birthday. I love By it. By the way, uh, I, know, I know I said it when we uh, had technical snafus earlier, right. but... Happy birthday. Oh, earlier so earlier this past week. So thank you so much. Birthday. So I bought XCOM too. And you know, mm -hmm. we were talking <clears throat> earlier when we weren't doing the official podcast right. about like replayability and replay value. And I think mm -hmm. XCOM is one of those games that definitely has that replay value, mm -hmm. but it's so fucking frustrating. And yeah. I almost forgot how frustrating it was. And then I started playing it again today on XCOM 2. Now as far as comparisons from XCOM 2 to XCOM Enemy Unknown, mm -hmm. which in and of itself was a remake of a game called UFO, yeah. Enemy Unknown, which was a PC exclusive. Mm. But, well, you know, it's neither here nor there. Right. I started playing it when it was XCOM. The graphics, like, the like, it doesn't seem to make huge leaps and bounds yeah. in, in, in uh, a lot of these areas. And I was watching <laughs> you play it a little bit before right. we started, and it looks very similar, yeah. actually, to Enemy Unknown. As far Enemy as, like, graphically... It, it it's very similar the gameplay is almost identical there may be a few new things like i didn't i don't recall the ranger mm. class being in there but oh man those same things you start building up a dude and he dies he's gone gone forever gone. you fail a mission you can't restart it it's done you have to just the game plays out and that's the thing I actually got about two hours into the game, played a few missions, was was doing all right, maybe lost like one or two people. I'm working on researching some stuff, and then I play this mission that's like story critical. Mm. I gotta play it. I hate story critical missions and, in XCOM <laughs> games because that's where you're gonna lose. And all I, your well, best I lost people. two of my soldiers, mm -hmm. and the little voice like said, "Hey, you should probably pull your guys out." And I was like, "No, I got this." Mm -hmm. And ended up losing the other two. And I was like, "Well, I'll just restart it." And then I was like, "Oh shit, I can't restart it." It's fucking XCOM. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I ended up starting a new game, and it started me in a different first mission. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is cool. So I, I played a whole different first mission. Um, the first mission, whenever I started the first game, you, were, you uh, break into this laboratory, and you basically... The aliens have won. It's 20 years in the future, which if you've ever played XCOM Enemy Unknown, it's, yeah, you, the aliens win a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> in that game. Yeah. So it's 20 years in the future. The aliens have won, and they, they, they open up this pod where there's this soldier, right, that's got, like, alien tech on him. They pull him out, and that's the commander. Yeah. You're the commander again. Yeah. So then you go through, and you're, and you're doing, you know, you've got your base and your research facilities and you're building stuff, and just like you are in the original game. Um, but, yeah. XCOM 2, it's it's fun. It's just one of those games that you can just play over and over and over again. It definitely gets frustrating, but it's it's one of those games where you just you can't get too attached to your characters mm. because they will They're die. They're gonna die. And you don't get to have them anymore. Yeah. And I'll tell you, when I first heard about XCOM was there's a YouTuber that I like and his name I don't know his name, but his channel is Classic Game Room. Mm. And I was watching like a playlist of his videos and he did a video on XCOM Enemy Unknown for the PS3 and I was like, that game looks like fun. So I went to GameStop and was just like, Do you guys have this? And it was used for like fifteen dollars. Mm -hmm. And I played the shit out of it for like a month straight. Mm -hmm. Um, and was just like, this may be one of the best games I've ever played just because of the replayability of it. Mm -hmm. Now it doesn't have like a lot of fancy cutscenes, and the story may not be like in depth character development and all that kind of stuff, but it's definitely replayable. I believe some of the missions are procedurally generated, like mm -hmm. some of the maps and stuff. And I know that is part of this new game, the XCOM two. Yeah. Now, as far as XCOM 2 goes, as far as like what I have to say about it, cons would I be I noticed a lot of frame rate issues. Really? For the PS4 during like the loading screens and some of the cinematics. Hmm. Not necessarily during the gameplay, but the gameplay and the cinematics and, and everything is not that complicated. And I've seen far more complicated games run with less problems. And so that, to me, was very surprising. Now, keep in mind, I've only played the game for three hours. Right. And I got it. It came out this week. So there might be another patch coming out. Mm -hmm to address these things yeah and that's one of those things that you kind of have to think about whenever you're buying a new game or you're reading reviews in this day and age with with patches and updates a lot of these problems for the early adopters may get fixed in a week they may yeah. get fixed in a month mm -hmm. so if you're listening to this and you're still on the fence if you like xcom 
the first two games that came out for console or any of the games that have come out on PC, pick it up. It's definitely worth it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get, I know I'm going to get a lot of replay oh, yeah. value out of it. And it's just one of those games. Like whenever I was going through all my PS3 games um, to see which ones I wanted to trade in, that was the one I was like, no, I'm mm-hmm. keeping that one. You never know. Yeah. You never know. I will say that the art styles kind of toned down a little bit in this really? one, because if you remember the first game is like all the soldiers were all big and bulky and right. the aliens had this kind of weird, like, almost like 1950s style look and they still mm-hmm. do to a certain extent but it seems to have been toned down to make it look just a little bit more realistic mm. in this game um but other than that the gameplay is solid and uh i'm looking forward to being incredibly frustrated with this game for oh yeah and you're gonna weeks be. and months to come you're gonna be. i gotta have something to tide me over listen man november mm-hmm. is a big month for mm-hmm. me okay so we've got the nes classic mm-hmm We've got World of Final Fantasy coming out right at the end of October or the yeah, very beginning of Like, I've November. seen some stuff about that, but I, don't, I really don't know it's much a about fun, it. It's a Final Fantasy Pokemon game, pretty much. What? Yeah. You get you capture... Uh, like, characters from yeah. the original games? Uh, well, monsters, and but you can play as characters from the original game, and they've got the little, like, chibi style and everything. Nah. It looks adorable, and I can't wait to play it. Uh... So you got the NES Classic, you got World of Final Fantasy, you've got Final Fantasy XV coming. Uh, so, I mean, my... Like, I'm already like, I need to start paying off my credit card because I'm about to max that shit out <laughs> here soon. So, you definitely be looking for a lot of those things to be talked about mm-hmm. and maybe doing some live streams uh, within the next couple of months. Mm-hmm. It's, it's almost seemed like it's been like a little slow uh, story-wise and things to talk about, but it's about to ramp up. Mm-hmm. Heavy. All right. So, let's talk about the first time you played XCOM because that's going to put us right into our next topic. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, next. Uh, next. Uh,